Feliz Navidad. Friends, I am here today to relieve you of the burning question in your mind. I know that it has been keeping you up at night every day since November 8th when I announced that I was monetized on YouTube. Don't worry, the wait ends today. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I'm really making. It has been officially one week since YouTube decided that I am officially cooler than just your average mom who paints. In fact, I, I guess I am in the top 6% of YouTubers because only 6% get monetized, which I still can't believe I monetized. It's a dream come true. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to brag, but with my first week's paycheck, I was actually able to buy this home made out of Legos. Okay, all jokes aside, when I was striving for monetization, my favorite videos to watch were creators showing their first paycheck. So let's just get right into it, okay? Uh, and also I'm showing you one week because I am just, I'm, I, I'm way too impatient to wait a month. Are you kidding me? So here is my first week, my first seven days as a monetized YouTuber. Also, this is an art channel, not a YouTube growth channel. I do post YouTube tips sometimes, but for the most part, I'm an artist. And a mother. And my life strangely follows the plot of Quinn's from Glee, but that's okay. All right, to the analytics. All right, here we can see that in the last seven days, I have had a total of 6,800 views, okay? I've had 143.5 watch hours. I've gained a whopping 55 subscribers. And in my first seven days, I made a whopping total of $10.18. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch or you leave the video, stay here, I am not done. I need to tell you something. Before you make fun of how poor I am, I wanna remind you that I have watched countless YouTubers' videos about their first days and weeks of being monetized, and most of them only made cents. Kelly Stamps only made like 20 something cents, and she posted it in her video. And Kelly Stamps is my idol, okay? She now makes 40, well, she, last year, she was making $40,000 a month. She probably has doubled that by now. Also, $10.18 every week is a total of $40 a month. Here's a list of items that I could buy every single month with my $40 paycheck. A child. So I'm very curious, comment if you were expecting a higher or a lower number in my comments and listen, okay, I've been making these videos for free for one year and eight months, which is pretty much just two years. We're gonna round up and I am just thrilled. I am over the moon, happy as a clam, that I'm getting paid to create something out of thin air. Have you ever thought about this? I can't hold my camera because I'm filming on it, but pretend this is a camera. Think about it. I'm pressing a button and it's capturing something that you can't, it's not tangible but that thing becomes money. I am essentially creating money out of thin air. It feels like I'm happy, happy? It feels like I'm hacking life. Now I've made another video on this, but if you're here because you're working on your YouTube channel, here are my top two tips for YouTube advice. Number one, this is the most important thing that matters. If you don't get this right, honestly, nothing else matters. And it's that people have to click on your thumbnail. So if you have a click through rate, that's really, really, really low. Um, you probably shouldn't work on editing or lighting or finding your niche, you know, I mean, those things are kind of important, but you should probably focus first and foremost on getting people to click on your videos. And I have a specific video on these tips if you want to go a little deeper. But my second tip is the number one thing that matters on YouTube, especially for making money, is view duration. Now that I'm monetized, I'm seeing this so clearly and I'm realizing I need to start making longer videos. I was making videos that were like four minutes long. On a very serious note though, if you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, but you're like, I'm a regular person, this could never happen to me, I could never get monetized, I am telling you, oh my gosh, I thought the same exact thing. I thought I was way too late. I thought when I started in 2021 that I was behind everyone else, that you couldn't grow on YouTube anymore. And I'm like, I can't believe, I really can't believe that I, I did it, I got monetized and you can too. If you don't know what you would even start a YouTube channel about, think about what people in your family or your friend group or just people that kind of know you, what do they ask you to pick your brain about? Is there anything that they ask you for advice on? Do they ask you for your favorite book recommendations? Do they ask you to help them with their workout routine? Do they ask you what you eat every day? Do they ask you how your hair is so shiny? Do they ask you how you learned how to play badminton? I don't know. Do they ask you, oh, there's my dog. Do they ask you where you got your dog because it's so cute? Do they ask you what it's like to live in New York City? Do they ask you where you buy your clothes and how you look so cute all the time? Do they ask you how you do your makeup? 
You do not have to be an expert in your field to be successful on YouTube. You just have to have more knowledge than the average person. For example, my fiance, he talks about cars and I, it's foreign language to me, okay? And if he started a YouTube channel with like the basics on how to change your oil, okay, he might think that that's not a good YouTube video because every man knows how to do that or a woman or woman or person any person but for me i would watch that video and i'd be like thank god someone made this video because i have no idea how to change my oil see what i'm saying be confident you gotta believe in yourself more and also it's gonna be really strange talking to a camera at first um you get used to it the most cliche thing that all youtubers say but it's so true is that the hardest part is starting you have to hit record oh my gosh i sound like a youtuber you have to just hit record you gotta record and post record and post in your first 20 videos they're gonna be really cringy but you have to get them out of the way uh you have to make 20 videos to like finally get the hang of being on camera not be embarrassed i used to have to kick my fiance out of the house to make videos because i didn't want him to hear me talking to the camera isn't that strange it's just me talking but i was so embarrassed now <laughs> i don't care and I'm so excited about my $40 a month because I know that YouTube is a snowball effect. I have seen it. I've seen it in my growth on my channel. All of my growth that got me to the 4,000 watch hours pretty much happened all in the last like month. It's like I worked so, so, so hard for nearly two years, saw nothing in return, nothing in return, nothing in return, and then boom, it just peaked. And from what I've heard from other creators, that is how it works with monetization as well. So uh, I will keep making art videos. I will keep making occasional YouTube tip videos. Uh, do you like my Christmas tree? Maybe I'll make a Christmas, Christmassy video. I love Christmas. Look at this cute tree. Look at this cute tree. Look at this cute tree. Listen to me, okay? If you're an artist and you're still trying to make a living off selling your art, I am commanding you. I'm begging you. You you should consider making a YouTube channel. Instead of relying on people to spend their hard-earned money, especially in a recession, on your art to survive, why wouldn't you want to make money just by recording the process of creating your art? Then you could also sell the art, or you could keep the art, or you could never sell another painting again in your life, but now you're relying on not people's money, but people's time. And not everybody has money, but what does everybody have? 24 hours in a day, except for Beyonce because she has so many employees and that just multiplies her usable work hours. All right, leave me any thoughts or feedback in the comments below and go have a great day, go get creative, go start a YouTube channel and go put up your Christmas tree because it's November, so it's basically Christmas. All right, guys, bye.